Hello, Adam T here, and welcome to Buckmore Park. Now, this is my second session in the adult carts, so I'm not fully up to speed, as I did one session before this, about a month before, but the whole track was icy. I didn't film because I didn't have the right mount for my GoPro, but yeah, this is my first ever time been in dry conditions so as you can see here we've just pulled out the pit lane we're dead last so right at the back of the pack and just trying to get a bit of heat into the tyres before the session gets underway and trying to warm up the brakes as well So here the safety cart pulls into the pit lane and we immediately charge down into turn 1 and 2. Now we come down to hairpin 1 for the first time and as always a few carts spinning round. Now this happens in most sessions but it's not a problem. Now here we dodge a cart on our right and two carts on our left that seemed to have crashed in some way not really sure because I wasn't focusing on it so here I see the car in front of us goes wide so I prioritise our exit for Garda up into Cafe Corner managed to get one position there and another one going on to the straight and uh, yet again another one down in the inside into turn one however we do go slightly deep now here we make a small error we seem to break a little bit too late and end up using the wider line round hairpin too which lost us a few car lengths to the car in front but we're gonna look for a move here look around the outside ends it off but managed to get the job done anyway up the inside into Garda nice clean move through Senna up the hill to Cafe Corner now this is a few laps later where we're charging on the cars in front of us and trying to make an overtake where we can obviously at the moment we're a bit too far back but uh, we're gonna keep applying that pressure now we follow the cart 17 very closely going down the hill towards paddock corner we we'll go around the outside here go slightly deep using a bit more of that outside curb but managed to make it stick anyway now here we're charging down the straight into the slipstream we make a move into turn 1 going up the inside it was slightly deep there so it's on our right but he spins out into hairpin one, make slight contact. Out here, you can see we're catching the car in front through Garda and through Senna. We get a good exit and a good run up into Cafe Corner. We go round the outside, which is a move you probably shouldn't do in a race.
now here we're at Garda once again. We see the cart in front go wide so we know that he's got a poor exit. But coming up the hill we go up the inside into Cafe Corner. Taking a bit too much curb and slightly unsettling in the cart. So as you can see here the cart in front of the bus goes super deep into turn one. We would have made a move at Hepin one as yellow flag and he spun anyway so we got past him. Now here I noticed that the cart in front got a bad exit from Hepin 2 so went right around the outside into the S's and got the position. So here we just caught up to people battling down into Paddock, go up the inside into Garda, which is a good move, keep it tight so he doesn't come back on us and make it stick. So here we're catching the car in front and into paddock we look around the outside but then switch back and try to go up the inside into Garda, try break a bit later than him, take a tight line through Garda and manage to get the move done. So here we've just been through Garda and the car in front of us just pulls over to the side. He sees we're so much quicker than him, lets us pass before we go up into Cafe Corner. So here we have the run on the car in front. We just pulled to the right hand side to go up the inside into turn one. Nice clean move, bit sliding mid corner but make it stick and we don't get dived on into heaven one either now we come down into paddock we're clearly faster than the number three car to go up the inside into garda we find the traction on the exit and we make for a charge on the number one car we go round the outside into cafe corner not usually a move that you would really do now here coming into hairpin one car that spins on the left just go past them we look round the outside of the car four which we managed to make stick and yeah, we just seem to have faster car or better traction. As you can see here, the car in front takes a bit of a strange line through Cafe Corner. So that means we have the speed advantage, we look up the inside, try not to go too wide as they might come back on us but it seems to be alright. Just coming into helping one now and you can see the car in front of us just takes a very wide line so look up the inside and the driver just pulls off to the right a little bit to let us through Here 
as we exit the garden go up the hill into Cafe Corner, about to start our hot lap, have resulted in us getting P1 for the session. There you go, that is my hot lap, as we immediately go down the inside of someone, into turn one. Now here we just slipstream the cart in front and we start looking for a move here. There is a bit of a gap but it seems a bit risky but we are going to dive down the inside of both these carts and we managed to make it stick surprisingly even into heaven too. Probably one of the best moves of the night. Here we just get the run on someone up the hill. We actually look to the outside this time into turn one. And we just have over speed, so we're able to easily go around the outside of him without having to worry about him coming back on us. Now here we're just behind the cart number 5, we're just being patient to let him make a mistake, which he does into paddock, he goes super wide, taking the exit road, which you're not allowed to do, and he tries to keep the position, but we just go up the inside and make it stick. Now as we come up the hill, on the left of Cafe Corner, on the digi board you can see the cart got a warning for this. Here, as we come down into paddock, we see the gap and we go for it at the inside. And then we tuck into the slipstream of cart 15, which we are going to look for a move and we're going to do it into cafe corner of the inside. Lovely move, making it stick all the way down the straight. Now here we tuck into a slipstream of the cart in front, number 17, and we are going to look for a move into turn 1. He just goes slightly deep and that lets us through up the inside and make it through ahead and one without getting dived.
day we are coming down the hill into paddock. Gonna try and make a move on cart three. It goes slightly deep and we just have the better exit. So we go up the inside into Garda. Probably one of the most popular spots for overtaking. And we got a good exit and we have to run cart number one. Where we're gonna go round the outside into Cafe Corner. Here, just a simple move on cart 11, tuck into the slipstream, and we go up the inside down the straight into turn 1. Make sure we don't go too deep, which we do slightly, but luckily enough, it doesn't come back on us. Here we notice we're catching the car in front at an alarming rate and we look for a move up the inside down the hill which is a bit of an unusual move because usually people are flat out here but we make it stick anyway. Now here we're going down the hill again and you notice that there's four carts in front, two of them make contact, one ends up spinning round which we narrowly avoid. And we get the run on cart number two, where we go up the inside into Garda. Number five struggling for traction, and we force the back out here and brake, which ruins our momentum down the straight. Which means we can't go for a move up the inside here. Or can we, as number five goes very deep, allowing us to slip up the inside and keep the position into head in one. Just coming into paddock here and there's yellow flags. We would have gone for a move here up inside into Garda, but we wasn't sure if it was overtaken under yellow flags. So now just coming up the hill and cart one seems to break at Cafe Corner. So we go round the outside, lovely move. Here for the final time come up into Cafe Corner and up to the line to take the checkered flag and that is the session over as you can tell by the yellow flags. As you can see here, we pick up the safety car at Garda, which just takes us back into the pit lane. As we then cut to Cafe Corner, where we enter the pit lane. So this brings us to the end of the video. So if you have enjoyed, please do like and subscribe. Hope to make a new video very soon. 
where it would be from my first race at Bottom Park. So with that being said, goodbye.